Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Justin Beauty and today we're going to be doing something very, very simple. Um, I think the last look that I did was a yellow. Um, it was in the pigment, uh, some pigmented colors that I do have. Um, it has several different colors. I don't know if I'm going to go with green or maybe some pink, um, but we'll see. But stay tuned if you guys want to learn. I'm going to be using this um, Cargo Cosmetics Nude uh, Beach Eyeshadow Palette. And we're gonna be going in with the browns actually there is like doesn't have a name but this one's kind of like black brown and then this one is like lighter brown so I'm gonna be mixing both colors um, just because we don't want that this color to be so dark so I'm gonna be using those colors and I'm going to prep my eyes with the pillowy base that I always use and we're just going to put it again if I look this way it's because I have a mirror in front of me so I'm just going to put a little bit of this pillowy uh, primer, eye primer. And we're going to be using a little brush like this. Again, this is a Morphe brush. This is an M173. And we're going to start blending this. Well, I do use a, a sponge to blend it really well too. So I'm just going to just press this into my eyelid like that. Don't worry if it's not like really well blended because we will use a sponge i mean your your preference you could use this to blend it or you could just use a sponge i like to use a sponge just to give it you know a better a smooth um surface and the better the application for me but the brush works um as well as a the little blender thing here too so you just want to press that into your eyelid like this. I know it looks like I'm pressing into my eye hard, but I'm really not. Just because I'm going so hard, it probably does look like that, but I'm not. So we're just going to press this into our eyelid like that. Just like so. We want to place it right here. So then from there, we're going to push it in. We're going to start moving in. And I know, look, um, see when this happens, see how it's not picking up the product you might want to get a different brush because this is a blending brush so we want to get a packing brush like let's say this one right and we want to just pack the color i didn't do that i don't know why but you do want to pack that color before you blend so just like that it just works better and it's not going to give you those strips just like you guys saw right now yeah, that was a, not a really good application. But like again, like I said, I do change my routines of blending sometimes. I don't know why, but I do that. Okay, so now look, see it's working and it's way better. So now we're just going to smooth this out and blend it. And I'm not going with the dark one anymore. I'm going to go with this light one right here. With the light one. Because we want to lighten up. Lighten up. want to light, uh, light up this, this shadow right here. Just like so. And um, also like I'm blending as well. So we want this to blend really good. Otherwise, I'm going to have more like darker on this side than on this side. Or it's just going to be like patches. So we don't want that. We want to have like a, a good application. So when you have like a patch like this black right here. Because I'm able to see it right. Because this is where I place, I placed it first right. You just want to get the sh shader color. The lighter color. What am I saying? The lighter color. And just blend. And it will just come together. I promise it will come together. And it's just one way of fixing it. Or you could just take it off and redo it again. Um, so once like, you know, you could either do the same color or you could just add like a lighter color and then start blending it. Just so that it helps the blending. The blending, you know, it will help to blend down more. Just like so. You just want to blend and blend and blend and blend. Like I said in my other videos, the more you blend, the better results. Okay. 
right here it looks a little too dark but it's okay it's okay see how I, I also went like a rainbow I don't know why and it's up to you um, up to what point you guys want to bring it up I'm pretty confident here so I'm gonna keep it here and we're going to cut our crease we're gonna cut this crease this is a very simple look like I said nothing too crazy so now I'm gonna get up a, um, a better blending brush like this one it's bigger and it has nothing on the brush nothing get a clean one and then I just want to all you want to do is just kind of blend everything it it just the results are a lot better to be honest so six like so and just blend everything 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 you see now everything just it's blending just like so okay so now we're going to get the um, Pilui again and we're gonna cut this crease halfway only it's not gonna be a big old thing either and I'm gonna grab my little brush which is this one that I made which is this one and I'm going to just grab it and I have the parparo caído so I'm pretty much see how my line is like right here so I'm not actually gonna do it right here I'm gonna do it a little higher so it's gonna be right here and then right there so now when I'm cutting it and I will fix it I'm just kind of demonstrating right now because I am going to clean it so I'm gonna put a little bit here and then I'm gonna look up because I think I gotta go higher yep I do gotta go higher Can you guys see what I'm doing? Just like so. Now again, this is not going to look perfect because we are getting a little thingamajingy. What is this? A wipey a makeup brush. A makeup brush. A makeup wipe. That's what it is. And now we're just going to wipe away. Just wipe away all that. I know that it seems more of a work, but... I mean, you could use Vaseline, you could use a pillowy cut crease as well. That That's bomb. I have it too, but I didn't take it out. I don't know. I feel better when I do this. I don't know why. Not that the pillowy is actually greasy. The Vaseline, uh, I mean, I don't like the ending results, I guess. It's kind of greasy to me, so I don't use it. I'd rather use a pillowy one. But for now, this works. So now we're going to cut this crease. Just like so. I'm going to put a little bit more. Because we want this to. We don't want it too much. But I don't need a little bit more. So we're just going to. Just follow the line. Fill it in. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to grab another brush, a more of a flat brush, just like this one. This one's also a Morphe M166, no, M166, that's what it is. And I'm just going to dab, 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 dab that into my concealer and or eye primer or concealer, whatever you're using. And you're just going to use that to fill this in better and blend it at the same time. Just like so. I'm gonna go back with this thing. I have a thing with lines, you guys. So yeah, you're gonna see me going back and forth. I'm gonna grab my little brush again, and I'm gonna dip it into both colors, and then I'm just going to pat, 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 pat into the edge. 
just so that we get rid of that hard edge right here. And we'll fix it as we move on. Now I'm going to be going into my this pigmented. Uh, I don't know where I got them. But I had them for a while. I had them for a long time already. For a while. Not a long time. A while. So I think I'm going to go in with. I went in with yellow the other day. So maybe pink or orange or blue. Or pink. I mean. Tin Marín de Doping Wayne. Cucaramá Caratutre fue. Yo no fui. Fue tete. Pégale, pégale, pégale. Que... You know, I forgot the song, but I think something like that. So let me see. Uh, we're gonna be doing maybe some per no green, no orange. Let's try orange. Oh, let's open that. You have to be very careful the way you open this because then this thing goes everywhere. I did use my uh, Milani concealer plus perfection two in one foundation, uh, in tone 08A, 08A as an apple. And then I was just talking about me breaking out a lot and blending my foundation as I was talking to you guys. And for some reason, this freaking phone wasn't recording. My concealer, Creases Concealer Tarte. This one, number... ¿Qué número será este? What number are you? 34G Medium Golden. And I'm going to put that under my eyelid. Like this. My under... ¿Cómo se llama esto? Under your eyes, like that. I'm sorry. I'm just like mad because I was like recording. Y, y supposedly I thought I was recording, but the fucking phone wasn't recording. So, yeah. So, whatever I record, I record. And whatever. A veces no sale chueco esta madre también. Anyways, I'm going to be using this Fenty Beauty um, Truffle 04. And I'm going to be contouring. Normally, I contour on, I put it on my hand and then I put it here. Actually, let me go ahead and use a different type of contour. I'm going to be using this Charlotte. Um, What is it? It's, I don't know what. Oh, 310. It's a 310. And it's a cream. It looks like that. It's a cream. So, let's see. I don't know what this shit's going to look like, but... Let's give it a try. Huh, I wonder if I put this. Let's see. I see no me dejo una línea. Right? So I'm just going to put it in like this. Where I want it. And then I'll blend it out in a bit. This is not a. I don't know what type of brush is this. And I have no idea what it's used for. But I'm going to use it for this. Oh, great. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And then I'm gonna put some right here, put some right here. Again, I don't know what this is going to look like, but we're going to try to blend it just like so. Just like tap, tap, tap. And then here down, 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 down. You know what? I should have put it in my hand and then I should have just grabbed it with this, no? It would have looked better. Mm, I believe. Okay. I mean, oh, I mean, it was good. It smoothed out, like, easy to blend. Those hiccups, those hiccups, those hiccups. I have never used this type of um what you call it i have always used like a stick as a contour but this one's not bad like it blend really well i think if i put more it'll like give me that more of a darker shade like here the shadow you know what i mean but this is fine it's not too bad now we're going to get a sponge and I'm just going to blend it right here like so, just like that. Let me see my, that right here. I will contour there because I know I have to. 
Then right here, remember, you're going to go around the eye and go this way. And whatever you have on here, you're not going to add more. You're just going to press that and look up and press up. Press in there while you're looking up. Does that make any sense? Just so that it does increase. The reason I do that is because it I crease a lot. So the less product I put there, the less I'm going to crease, in my opinion. So same thing. You're going to get it, and then you're just going to go around and everything, right? So you just want to press that into your eye like that. Then you're going to look up. You're going to press that into your little under eye right here. Just press it. With whatever you have on your sponge, that's what you're pressing there. I'm going to go in with the powder. And this is a, uh, what is it, Ultra Pink. And it's from Patrick Star. And I'm going to grab that. And I grab my little puff, this one right here. And I'm going to grab some, like so. Make sure you put it here to, um, so like that it doesn't like lift patches. I'm going to do the same thing to this other eye. Press it into my skin like this in my hand. And I'm going to go like this and press up. Press up, press up. Just like so. You grab a little bit more. Do the same thing. And do the same thing. Down and press. The smoother the application is. 310 powder um, contour little thingy majigny that I have right here. And a bronzer. Is it a bronzer? It's a bronzer. I'm going to get an angle brush like this. And this one's also a Murf Murphy, Morphe E51. And I'm going to grab some, like so. Tap. And then go here. You know what? It kind of does sit really, really good with the with the products meaning with the um the liquid or what is it the cream that i put first i thought it was gonna be bad but it's not it's actually sit well which i like just like so okay so now that i did that i'm gonna move on and i'm gonna put this i've been putting this on this is a blush but it's a cream like it's it's a hank and hangry mousse cream um eyes and cheeks um little thingamajingy for blush and i'm gonna just grab some and i'm gonna put some right here and it's not very like like concentrated you know what i mean it's just enough so you could actually um build it up as much as you want or you could actually add a powder on top of it too but i'm not gonna do that i'm just you know i just want a little bit of blush i don't want too much so i don't know why i'm grabbing the brush like that and we're just gonna put it here and we're gonna do the same thing on this side just like so and you just want to tap 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 and it's you probably cannot see very much because like i said it's very very light you know that and like it doesn't show a lot but if you put a powder i'm pretty sure that it'll stand out more but i don't want to so this is kind of what i'm going for right now i don't know why i always get the hiccups okay so now same thing tap 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 just like so like that you just want to tap that mousse into your skin it melts right into it and then goes there no okay so i'm gonna go back with the same palette and i'm gonna go back with the same colors and i'm going to add let's see a little bit of that eyeshadow now i'm going in with the um the same thing and i'm gonna put some on under so where I didn't put any, I'm going to put a little, just a little bit of this. Mm. 
gonna get my um eyeliner put some eyeliner move on gotta keep moving whoa okay like that um i'm hoping that this thing does not uh, smear anywhere so i'm gonna get my which one is this one the sweet honey and i'm going to just put it all over my face for the final finish and move on I didn't put too much either. I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna brush it all out because I don't like baking. Okay, just like that. And I'm gonna get my, this one from Fenty. It's a highlighter. So I go in it. I'm gonna put some right here, put some right here. And I won't put any there. Normally I do, but I'm not. So, like that. And I'm going to grab a mascara, which is this is not the best. I don't know why I didn't grab a mascara yesterday, but. Just like so. Um, then I'm going to clean up my lips. And I'm just going to add a very simple gloss from LA Girl. A lip plumper. And let's see. No, actually, I'm not going to use the LA Girl. I'm going to be using this one. This is from Essence and is Extreme Shine. And is it ex Extreme Plumping? Um, have you said a couple of times, but. Okay. I just put some eyelashes and we're done. Okay, you guys, this is the final look. Woo! That struggle was real. I did struggle in a couple of videos. I know that I sounded like I was upset. I wasn't upset. I was just irritated, just to clarify that. Um, and I'm sorry about the language. Yes, it, when I get irritated, I say a lot of little little words. You know what I mean? But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. I hope that you know you guys see that I do struggle as well um i'm not perfect and um yeah i show you guys that i do struggle throughout my videos as well when i'm recording but anyways i hope you guys like it don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe and like and share as well if i did not mention that and also just to clarify another thing i did the same look um probably a couple days ago but i used this color the yellow one it looks pretty cool as well and today i used the orange and they are glow in the dark they are neo colors they glow in the dark yeah did i just mention that yeah right anyways like i said i'm not having a good day today but anyways i hope you guys like it don't forget to subscribe and thank you bye